Come on, use those drumsticks. Use your giant KSE drumsticks and break their faces. Come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, he got you. Okay guys, and welcome back to another episode. Today we're back with Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're just gonna be goofing around in the sandbox doing who knows what because I haven't even figured out what. So here we go. Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a nice orderly cluster. We're just gonna see what happens whenever you send a swarm of chariots against another swarm of chariots. And yeah, that should do it. Here we go. There they go. Oh! Bro! Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, it's like, it's like a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a pile of ants crawling over each other. I, I have no idea who's winning. I, I genuinely do not know. I, um, hey, what, what color are you? What color are you? Oh, jeez, they've all lost their drivers. Who's left alive? I don't think anyone really won that one. And right, now we're going to test who's really the better marksman, the archers or the muskets. Let's see, uh, we got a... I got 60 on this side and 61 on this side, so I'm just gonna take that one off. And here we go! 60 on 60. Who will win? The muskets load their rifles. The archers knock their bows. And. And. There it goes! Oh! Both sides with heavy casualties! Sir, we don't know who's going to win this battle! Oh, wait, I think it's the muskets. Um, yeah, probably gonna be the muskets. Because, uh, yeah, hey, I, I was on the musket side the whole time, just so you know. Oh, one archer left. No archers left. You tried, guys. Okay, note to self, muskets are definitely stronger. Okay, now this is probably seriously going to lag out the game, but I put 104 peasants on one side and 104 peasants on the other, and I just want to see who's going to win in the biggest battle we can have. So let's hope it, the frame rate isn't too bad. Okay. Oh, it's not great, but it's not horrendous as I was thinking it was gonna be. There they go. And there's the beautiful clash of red and blue. They swarm into each other like, oh man, they're just mosh pitting again. Is that what peasants do? They just mosh pit? Red, you're getting surrounded. You're royally screwed. I can't tell actually. Blues might be winning. Let's see, as more people die, the frame rate will get better. So we'll just let that happen. Oh, now they're all spreading out. Hey, hey, guys, you're supposed to be fighting each other. Where are you going? Guys, come back! I mean, don't you want to join this giant that pile of red and blue dead, dead bodies? I mean, look at this place. It's so awesome. It's like a giant pillow factory, except they're all bodies of people that you knew. Which is comforting, right? That is a lot of bodies. Okay, so it looks like the reds have the advantage right now, I think. They got more numbers, as far as I can tell. Get that guy, get that guy. Oh, he hit backhanded you. Oh, but you got him. What about this one? Oh, three on one, three on one, how is that fair? Oh, he took one with him though. Oh, you're the last one, the last lonely peasant. Here he goes, he charges right in the battle. He ain't afraid of nothing. Oh, everyone just hug him, hug him in his death. Hug him, hug him. Okay, so this time we're gonna do a classic Jedi versus clones battle. And by Jedi versus clones, I mean samurais versus muskets. But it's about as close as I can get until they add lightsabers on this game, which that would be so awesome if they did. Okay, I added a lot of guys, so let's let's see how this works. How is... Wow, that's a lot of gunfire. They didn't get many samurai. In fact, I feel like they got more of their own guys. Oh, man! There go the Jedi! The Jedi! You can't stop the Jedi! The Jedi swarm the clones and just cut them down like, like uh, things you cut down really easily. How about grass? If you cut down grass really easily, we'll go with grass. Oh man, that was a lot of death. But in the end, it looks like the clones just couldn't stop the army of Jedi, which makes sense, unlike the movies. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking this time. I just put, oh geez, wrong button. I just put down two chariots and a whole bunch of barbarians, because I don't use the barbarians very much. Oh, battle of the chariots. Oh, it looks like the red one. Oh, it didn't last long. Look at them, bash him, bash him them. Come on, use those drumsticks. Use your giant KFC drumsticks and break their faces. Come on, hit him, hit him. Oh, he got you, he got you. Oh, oh, he's surrounded, but he's not giving up. Oh, he's down. Who's left? Just one left. There he goes. There he goes. Use those KFC drumsticks. Oh, mutually assured destruction. Okay, since the chicken madman seems a little overpowered, I want to test exactly how many watches it would take to destroy a chicken madman. By that, I mean I'm just going to put down one chicken madman and I'm going to pile up as many freaking watches as I can. 
Okay, there we go. This ought to be good. Why are you guys flipping and stuff? Oh, 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 wow. Seriously, and you're just gonna get right back up? Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, there's still some firing. How about that? Man, you're gonna get back up, aren't you? Oh, wow. Look at that. Unbelievable. We got any more watches left? A couple. None of you guys are shooting in the right direction. Okay, we're about to die, aren't we? Blah, blah. Your turn. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should add something other than a huacha. There we go. We put some musket men down in there. I doubt this will work well because the huachas can't stay upright. But screw it. I want to find. I want to see if a huacha can kill the chicken man. And as sadistic as this may sound, I love watching him get impaled by all those. Look at. Okay, that time they did great. He, he didn't even. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to test a Viking versus archer thing. Because the Vikings have shields on their classes, which can protect them from arrows, but the shields aren't very big. So I want to see exactly who's going to win this one. Come on, shoot him! Shoot! Oh, oh! Looks like the Vikings are. Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, those shields are doing real good. Yeah, archers didn't stand a chance. Yeah, okay, goodbye, archers. You're all dead. You're all dead. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Three left. Or four left. Nope, now three left. Everyone back to back! Cover your angles! Uh oh. Ah! Yeah. He's dead. Now, what happens if I replace my archers with the poachers? And I'm gonna put like a second line back here. There we go. That's a lot of Vikings and a lot of poachers. The poachers, they can fire a lot faster, but the arrows are a lot weaker. Wow. Those Vikings, they do not stop. Okay, whoa, we're dipping into a little low frame right here. Hard to tell what's going on, I just see a lot of arrows flying every direction. So how's it going, guys? How's it going? Hey, how you doing, man? You got an arrow in your face. Your, or your throat. No, your arm. It's in your arm. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! So who's winning? I mean, I guess the poachers are doing better this time, but to be fair, I pretty much doubled their numbers. Hey, you're stuck on a rock. You okay, man? You guys must really like that rock. Hey, you should look to your... Alright, right. Yeah, shoot that guy. Shoot him in the back. Shoot him in the back! What are you waiting for? Shoot him in the back! Uh oh Hey, you should watch your back. Oh! I warned you! Wait, who's left? Oh, just these two. Just these two. Shoot! Fire! Uh-oh. You're the only one left. Here they come! Brutal. So, arrows cannot defeat Vikings. This has been proven. Okay, here's something I've wanted to test for a while. Because whenever I play the actual game in the levels, I get stuck sometimes needing a powerful warrior, but needing to not spend a lot of money. So I'll use the farmers, and they're highly effective. So I want to know, are the farmers stronger than the spearmen? Because basically, they're the same class. But the farmers are a lot cheaper, so is it better to just stick with farmers instead of spearmen the whole time? Let's find out! Here they go. I'm pretty sure I put down the same amount of guys, right? I'll have to look at that later. There they go! Oh! Brutal! Okay, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him! Stab, stabby face! Oh, wow. Okay, who's left? Just, alright, you guys? Come on, uh, yeah, come on, come on! There, go farmer! And what's this? What is this? This guy's got a farmer stuck on his spear. He's trapped. Oh wow, this has turned out pretty evenly, actually, two on two. Of course, this guy is going to have to fight two at once. Let's see how he does. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he got one. Come on, farmer. You got to stab him. Oh, wow. Okay, so my conclusion in the end, farmers and spearmen are basically the same. But farmers are cheaper, so I would definitely recommend farmers. Uh, yeah, go with the farmers. Spearmen suck. Okay, so for the last battle of today, we're gonna be doing a Civil War reenactment because I'm a history buff when it comes to wars and I really like them. So we're just gonna see exactly who would win, the Confederacy or the Union. I'm not telling you which side is which because honestly I haven't decided, so we're just... Oh wait, I guess it actually makes perfect sense. Confederacy would be red, Union would be blue because that's the color they... Okay, right, okay. So here they go. Who Will the South rise again or will it be put down by the North? I don't know why I made the North British. We're all American anyways. Oh! Holy crap! I think the Southerners are, uh, showing a little... that brutality they got. Looks like it ain't working. Oh! 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 Oh, man! The Civil War was bloody! Look at this! So much death! The Confederates have the Unions outnumbered! But the Unions will fight on to the death! Um, which might be pretty soon. Uh, hey, dude? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, look like the South won that one. Well, that was Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I have another video coming soon, so stay tuned in.